Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk to you about uh, our man-made floating island. It's um, something that has yet to be uh, done, but uh, we do have design for it. And uh, others have put somewhat of a, of a similar design. Um, ours is uh, different in, in the regard that um, it would be um, curtailed to whatever it is that you need. It's a te the technology definitely exists for, for doing something like this. And the island could basically be um, whatever size, you know, of a, that you might want of a, by way of a small island. Um, some of the uh, issues um, that uh, used to be issues uh, in the past are no longer an issue as far as uh, the size uh, of, of what uh, potentially it could be. Um, and, uh, you know, the details of it all, that's, that's a whole other story. But yes, uh, we do have a design for a, uh, uh, an island that would be either a resort or it could be curtailed to whatever you like. And uh, it can be shipped from here uh, in the United States to your location anywhere in the world. And uh, it's, it is custom made, custom designed, and uh, depending on where you locate it is, uh, is a factor as to whether you want to locate it in international waters and literally basically become your own country. Uh, that's definitely up to you. It's not up to us, but um, otherwise we could have it uh, sent to any location on planet Earth once it's, uh, it's built. And uh, it would be U.S. built. Uh, we're we're pro-American for our we we don't uh, do anything overseas so far as uh, taking our technology. It is um, self-contained um, and it does use our ETE system. Um, and uh, you, you're not going to be needing to um, do a lot of the things that would be encumbersome to uh, other designs uh, out that are possibly out there. I haven't seen a lot of them, but um, anyhow, um, <clears throat> ours is definitely um, above the top. Okay, so if you'd like more information on that, uh, let me know. Thank you.